So I was watching uh, a video by SaberSpark today, and what I saw on there was an, a very interesting topic because usually he'll do like reviews or he'll do uh, what happens and whatever the other, you know, whatever animation topic may come to mind. But, you know, once in a while he'll talk about something that's, you know, associated with animation and everything. But, you know, at times it might be a little bit more different. Like when he talks about it, you know that in a way it's, you know, if it's interesting enough for him to talk about, you know, it's going to get people talking, period. And what he talked about was the fact that uh, this YouTuber, very infamous, very famous, well-known YouTuber, had paid about up to $50,000 on an AMV. Uh, that he wanted me personally for him. Because one of the things SaberSpark did after the end of the initial video was he added a little bit of an update stating that he got in contact with one of the animators on the AMV and they specifically told him, or spe yeah, specifically told him that this AMV was made, you know, personally for uh, this guy, for this YouTuber. And it was an AMV focusing on his OC being pursued by Charlie, Charlene, if you will, of Has Been Hotel. And, you know, it's very well, and his thing, the, the video is very well animated. And apparently there's two versions. The, I guess you could say an uncensored version, explicit version, uh, visually. And there's one that's more cleaned up, more suitable, you know, for YouTube. And... One thing Saber brought up in this, it's like, well, you know, why would you waste your money in doing this? Because apparently this guy's channel uh, is not doing so well. It's not, you know, as, uh, I guess you could say, as, you know, relevant as it used to be. It's not like gaining, you know, the momentum that it used to have. It's not getting the views, um, you know, that it used to have. And... Because of that, he's not financially, through monetization, you know, being able to, I guess, you know, you know, I guess post videos, you know, you know, on a regular basis. And he's known for like the these animated, you know, for these animated rap battles and everything uh, that he's uploaded, you know, between different animated or anime characters. And again, apparently, uh, apparently he. He, he, you know, his channel has lost a lot of momentum, and it's not like it used to be. You know, he even, there's even a clip that Saber Spark, you know, sh uh, shares from the guy's channel where he's basically stating that, you know, the uh, viewership on one of his videos is not up to par or not at the same numeric number uh, of uh, views as his subscriber count because his subscriber count is like in the 5.1, 5 5.3 uh, million uh, subscribers and the video is less than that. The video is like 1.2 or 1.3 or something like that. And, you know, what's interesting is he's pointing out that this guy, you know, is, you know, well, was, I don't know if he still is, but was offering, you know, a contest to where people would submit 10 second clips animated or not, I assume, that he wanted to incorporate into the Luigi's Beatbox uh, that he was putting together, and that those who got chosen, uh, they would win a grand prize of an ad autographed plushie of this, you know, of this guy's OC. And I, lo I heard, you know, I heard him bring that up in the clip, and even SaberSpark brought this up too, you know, and I'm I'm with Saber Spark on this. It's like, no, you you need to probably do more than just compensate them with a plush, an autograph plush. You need to pay them, you know, for their time. Like you need to uh, basically make sure that they are uh, sustained financially for, you know, helping you out, if you will. And then the other thing the guy said was, well, if you don't get chosen, I'll still, you know, recognize your channel. I'll still, you know, name your channel. I'll list it off on my on my channel so you get recognition. And it's like, okay, that's great and everything, but still, you know, you're you're asking people to help you out. You know, it, it, you're basically helping people to help you out in getting you getting you, I should say, 
out of a situation that you're in right now. Because part of that reason, you know, you know, part of that reason is because of the fact that, again, his channel is financially not stable anymore. And mostly he just spent about forty-seven, forty-seven thousand to fifty thousand dollars, you know, on a um, on this AMP for his own personal collection, which has gotten out to the public. It has gotten out to the public, so I'm sure you can find it elsewhere. Even though it's private now, he's you know solidified it onto private on his YouTube channel. Uh, basically, you know, it is out there. It is out there, and you know, I. I look at this, you know, I, I listen to what Saber Spark is saying and talking about, and, you know, it's just, you know, th this is why, this is why I think if you can animate, you know, your own AMVs, if you're good at digital animation or 2D animation or Toon Boom or whatever, you know, and if you have that software available and you have what you want programmed into it, I think it's best if you, on your own, create your own AMVs. That's what I think you should do. And also, if you're going to have people commission you for something they want to see, don't, you know, don't go and say, hey, you know, I, I'm going to charge this much for it. You know, there's a guy on Ink Bunny that does some short 10-second, 20-second little clips, animated clips. And I commissioned him for about, you know, I commissioned him about $2 or something. And he gave me what I wanted, exactly what I wanted. You know, even though it was like 10 to 15 seconds. And it was good. It looked really good. So to me, if you're going to, you know, spend money on something like that, make sure you look around and find somebody reasonable. You know, somebody reasonable to be like, okay, I can, I can work with you for, you know, I can work with you on this for that. You know, you know, basically make, basically find somebody that's not going to drain you of your account, of your bank account, because. Apparently, the guy may or may have not gone bankrupt because of this. And it's like, you know, look, if you if you have the money yourself, and, and his thing, according to SaberSpark in the video, the guy spends like 30000 to 20000 maybe more, uh, on his own channel, on the videos for his own channel, you know, the rap battles and everything. And it's like, well, if you can spend money like that, then why don't you just do the AMV yourself? That's my that's my question. It's like, why don't you do the AMV yourself? You know, make you know that's what I you know that's what makes me you know curious as to you know you know you know why he just do you know why instead of spending money that he didn't need to, why didn't he just you know use that money that he spends on his own channel to make it happen himself? That's that's just my curiosity. But apparently there's also, you know, uh, reports and rumors that he had maybe some underage kids or teens, middle, middle like mid-teens, if you will, animate this. And that's kind of questionable. I mean, even Discord, basically, uh, when the video was posted on there or information about the video was posted there, they, they took that down. They kind of blocked that or something. And that... To me, that's not a good sign either. You know, that's not a good sign either if that, you know, if they, if Discord of all places did that, because that does make the, the guy look a little um, creepy, if you know what I mean. But you know, again, these are just rumors and reports of things possibly happening. But like I said, it's you know, like I said, I, I watched this video, and I'm just, I'm just amazed about what I'm hearing. Now the video. Again, it's very well done. It feels like it could belong, you know, in an episode or as a bonus uh, portion of an episode of Has Been Hotel. You know, that, you know, it, it looks that good. It really does. But still, it's like, you know, really, you know, it's like, really, you, you're going to go out of your way and spend that much money to, to have this made when you could just probably find somebody out there for half the price for half the cost if not a lot cheaper they could do just as good of a job you know with you know on something like this you know you're not you, you you're gonna not go out of your way to you know try to save money and look for somebody that's more affordable you're gonna spend spend it on this i mean yeah animation's expensive but this is ridiculous this is really ridiculous i mean this honestly this is why i like it when people like me and other like people like myself and others you know we have the opportunity we you know if we got the money or if we have the you know the software and everything 
we're glad and happy. You know, we're glad and happy to be able to, you know, go out and, you know, you know, create our own, you know, create our own uh, AMVs, create our own fan vids. You know, I'm happy about that. I'm glad about that. You know, so to me, I think, honestly, I think, to me, honestly, I think that this guy probably made a huge mistake. But obviously, he seemed very desperate to want to make this happen. To want to have something that, you know, he knows that if he goes out and asks somebody to do it for as a request or a regular cheap commission, then they're going to say no. They're going to say no. So, you know, so, again, I just, I just don't know what to say here. I mean, look, I admit if I had the money, maybe I'd request somebody to do a music video that I would want in a great with great animation and all that there's no doubt but you know what I would do is I would make sure that not only would I have the money but I'd make sure I had more than enough like I have enough to cover me afterwards for any other bills and expenses I need to take care of because if not I know I'd be screwed so yeah just it's just really surprising to, to hear this kind of a story and you know Hopefully he gets out of this without, you know, getting in any trouble. I mean, I mean, if there is any evidence that maybe he did have minors, you know, mid-teens, if you will, animate this, you know, and they, and let's be honest, you know, looking out, you know, looking away from the, you know, the wrongness of that, you know, if somebody in the mid-teens did do this, they did a heck of a job. Give them credit. They have a future as an animator in the business. But still, you know. You know, if the rumors are true, reports and rumors are true that he did do that, you know, he associated with somebody of, you know, underage, that's not a good look. That's not a good look for him. So hopefully whatever the situation is that he's dealing with right now, he gets out of it and he doesn't have to rely on others to help him get out of it. And hopefully he learns his lesson here. Hopefully he learns his lesson that if you want something like this done, there are there are other alternatives. You know, you can find, you know, cheaper alternatives that can do just as good of a job, you know, if not better than what you spend $50,000 for. But anyway, that's just my thoughts on it, guys. Let me know what your thoughts are. Check out Sabersparks video on it. And until next time, I will talk to you all later.